everybody the wildflowers are officially dead winter is officially here sad day but yeah look at this there's frost on the ground but anyways welcome to another episode we are back at the greenhouse so if you didn't see the last episode we got the pond all finished so make sure you go check that out but uh look at this this is crazy the, when you add wood, driftwood and stuff into waters, it leaches out tannins and it makes the water dark colored like this, but this log leached out a lot of tannins. It's probably hard to see because it's all, I don't know, the glass is all dirty and there's a glare and I don't feel like cleaning it, but the pond is looking awesome. Water's getting really clear. But that's not what we're here for today. So we got the pond done. What is the next step to make the greenhouse awesome? What do we need next that I've been putting off forever because I'm an idiot? Uh, we need to get a water line around out here so we have water so we can keep topping off the pond in the wintertime, which it is now, and uh, so we can get it tropical in here. It's already pretty humid. I think it's like 63% humidity right now, but we want water around out here. We want misters. We want sprinklers. We want everything ready to water the plants. As soon as we get water around out here, it is pretty much going to be tropical year round. And then we can start doing really cool stuff and start building a rock wall here, getting plants in here, getting everything animal proof and getting animals in here. So let's walk out front and I will show you my idea. Well, I don't really have an idea. I'm kind of winging it to be honest, but let's go see. So we need to get a water line ran from somewhere here to out there. So obviously it has to be a freeze proof water line because it's got to run in the winter time. I can't have water lines freezing and bursting and stuff. It cause all kinds of problems. So we can't use secondary or anything, but I'm told that this sprinkler box, we can't even see it, it's covered in plants, but there's a box right there. So uh, that is run off just the city water line. So I'm gonna dig that up and dig down and see what type of pipe it is and everything, if it's just PVC or what, and kind of get a game plan. But what I'm thinking is I'll probably tie into that and then I'll run it up to the greenhouse and then under the foundation of the greenhouse and up into the greenhouse and then have the spigot and everything in there and then I can go from there. So I think what we're gonna do to keep it freeze proof is we are going to run, I don't know, probably some bigger pipe, get that run and then we'll probably run the water line through that. That way if there is a problem, I can pull it back through and fix it. But I'm also gonna use heat tape or heat cable. So it's like cable, you wrap it around the pipe tape it all up on there and then it's got a little thermostat on the end so you leave it plugged in year round and when the ground temperature gets cold that heat cable turns on it keeps water lines from freezing so I think that plus it being inside the other pipe and I'm going to try to dig it down like three feet deep I think that I don't know we should be good so I don't know let's do some experiment let's get this dug up and see what we're looking at and then see if that plan's even going to work and then go from there Okay, so that plan is not gonna work. Long story short, but there is no water pressure to here and we'd have to dig a hole in the front yard to do it. They haven't used these sprinklers in years. So we got a new plan now. We are gonna come over here somewhere. It's kind of where we ran the other utilities. We're gonna clean all this out, but we're gonna come back here and go through the wall and tie into the water inside the house. So hello, we will update you guys once we get a little bit of it dug. Lucy. Lucy attack <laughs> okay we got ditch started here we decided we're not going to go that deep just like a foot and a half two feet just since it's going to be so insulated and have the heat cable it probably doesn't matter so we're going to skip this little spot so the dog doesn't get out from under the fence we're going to start up here but uh we don't want to screw up all the micro clover so we're going to roll out some of this plastic and then put our spoils on top of that that way it doesn't get all mixed in it's a lot easier to clean up so plastic rolled out and then we will keep So that is the other bonus of digging where we've already dug our trenches is the ground is a lot softer since we've already dug and backfilled right here. Last time we dug this, it was like rock hard clay and it was a nightmare. It took us forever. So this time you can see at least this top foot is much easier. So 
since we don't have equipment this time, definitely the way to go. We are pretty much done digging. Just clean this last little bit up. It's ready to go. So we gotta go get some pipe, get that all figured out, and then I'll show you exactly what we got going on. We have got the supplies. So let me explain to you what we got. This is our black poly, it's polyethylene irrigation pipe. It's 160 PSI. It's what you'd see for like sprinkler systems and stuff. So this is pretty cheap and it will work great for this. So this is one inch and then we got some two inch PVC and then let me explain to you how we're gonna keep it from freezing. We got this heat cable. So there's different types of heat cable. If you're gonna do this, I'd do some research and make sure you get a good one. We got one that has a thermostat on it that will completely shut off in the summertime when it's warm and not needed. Some of them will just run less or they'll run like not as hot in the summertime, but I don't want something just sitting there wasting electricity and I'm gonna forget to unplug it all the time. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in year round. In the summertime, it won't run at all. And then in the winter time, it will use this thermostat here to see how hot it needs to get, how many volts it needs to be. So when it's really cold, it'll run hotter, keep the pipe from freezing. And when it's not so cold, it'll only run a little bit. When it's warm, it won't run at all, saves electricity. So this is gonna be taped to the pipe. We're gonna use our foil tape here we're going to run this all the way along the bottom side of the black poly pipe, tape it on with the foil tape. And then, to be extra safe, we were going to use the black like foam insulating sleeves that go over the pipe, but it wouldn't fit inside the 2-inch PVC. So what we decided to do instead was this insulation stuff. I think it'll be plenty good for what we need, but you can see this sticks on. So we'll just spiral wrap, spiral wrap the whole pipe with this and then that'll be extra insulation. So we'll tape this on and then spiral wrap, wrap the whole pipe with this. I don't know why I can't say that. But, uh, and then the whole thing will be sleeved inside of two inch PVC. So this is how we will get it onto the house. We're gonna use this electrical conduit pull through box. So we'll drill a hole in the house. This will go against the wall in the house. And then we'll have a fitting in here, run into the house and then connect to the copper line and that'll be our supply. And then on the other side, this is how it'll come into the greenhouse. Just do a 90 and then we'll have it come up in that corner. And, uh, yeah, easy enough. So we need to go drill some holes in the greenhouse and the house and get that ready and then measure out how much pipe we need and all that. So let's get going on that. Okay, so I was wrong. The thermostat is actually right here in the cord. So we're gonna put this part in the box that goes to the wall instead of inside the house. That way it'll actually read the cold temperatures. So let's start taping this on. All right, heat tape is taped on the majority of the way. So we're gonna get the first, I don't know, 10 feet or so insulated with this stuff and then we'll get it laid out in the ditch so we don't do more than we need. pipe is in the ditch we're pulled up to the wall now we're just finishing insulating it like this but sorry we are not filming a whole lot don't have a whole lot of b-roll but I kind of need Tiffany's help this pipe is super stiff and hard to work with so she's been helping me straighten it out as I go it's kind of hard to tape this stuff on and hold it all at once so yeah we're gonna get the rest of the heat tape taped on get this all insulated and then we'll start slipping on the PVC so we'll show you when we get to that point The heat tape is all taped on, so what we are doing now is getting the PVC on. So pretty much I just start at that end, fish it all through, and then uh, 
By the way, for the rest of this, I'm just using normal PVC because I'm cheap and I don't think it really matters for this. It doesn't need to, I don't know, if it cracks or something later on, it's not really gonna matter. It's just to help insulate a little bit. So yeah, normal PVC and we're just sliding it all the way down there and then I hook it up and then I'm doing the insulation wrap kind of as I go, just so I don't, because it's harder to slide the PVC over that. So it's less, sorry, I can't see it. It was very bright, but uh, yeah. So I'm doing like about one joints worth of wrap and then I slide a joint on and glue it. Then I'll wrap the rest, slide it on and glue it. So I'm by myself today, which makes it difficult. So probably not gonna film a whole lot, but uh, yeah, let's just hurry and get this done. And then I'll show you what we got going on after. All right, the pipe is all in. We're done with the PVC. And I will say that uh, fishing that through that 90 was a pain in my butt. So it was super hard to get through, especially by myself, but we got it through. And then you can see, come in here to the greenhouse. So now we're gonna cut that to size. We got, oh yeah, you can see it. We got a ton of extra heat cable. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I'll probably just coil it up here out of the way or something. But yeah, we got a bunch of different parts. So I'm going to use one of these and then get that pointed up the wall Then use this galvanized pipe. And then I got this piece, a little spigot. So that's what we're going to run with for now. So we'll get that all hooked up over here. And then we will go work on in the house, getting it hooked up to the actual water and then we can run it and see if everything works. So. Okay, that is it for out here, for now at least. So I just got this little faucet. It's good enough for now. Eventually I'm gonna have a whole manifold here with a water filter. I might even do a tankless water heater somewhere over here so I have warm water. But I don't know, this can all be changed later on. For now, I just need water out here at all. So we're gonna go to the other side, start working on the inside and see if we can get water supplied. Okay, everything is all hooked up. The water is live right now. We got it turned on, so I'm just checking for leaks. I didn't really film much of us hooking it up inside. It's a super tight space, and it was just really hard for me to film by myself, and I'd had to set up lights and everything. So sorry, I did not film that, but we just went, once we got inside the wall, we went to PEX pipe, and then we transitioned that into the copper pipe. So pretty simple, but you can see, no leaks here, so go check the greenhouse tired of working on this thing I'll be very happy to be done okay so it's like so far no leaks here Boom, it works. And we got, so I was worried about not having enough water pressure all the way out here, but that does not seem to be a problem at all. So everything works. That is pretty much it for this episode. We will get back with you guys soon. We got some cool updates coming up. We're gonna get some stuff that makes the YouTube channel even better. And then we're gonna keep working on this greenhouse. Also, I forgot to mention, but uh, we're gonna foam up the holes and stuff and insulate that box, the one that goes through the wall. And then I'm gonna mount this so it's not all wobbly, but uh, and then backfill the trench. But I figure you guys don't wanna see that. You've seen it a million times. It's simple, boring stuff. So I don't know. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you're watching. And then if you do wanna see every detail of the way when I do stuff, comment down below and let me know. Cause I feel like it gets repetitive. So I'm starting to not film every little detail, but if you guys do like that, make sure to let me know and I'm happy to keep doing it. So that is it.